Hi, I'm Erin Manning. I'm a professional photographer and a lot of people ask me, Erin, what do you keep in your camera bag to take great photographs? And I usually tell them, well, I have a digital SLR and some lenses and lots of other accessories that help me take great images. But you know what? I don't always want to carry my big camera bag around with me, but I do carry my handbag around with me. But I thought I'd share with you some things I keep in my handbag to always take great photographs. First off is my compact digital camera. Now this is small and easy to carry, so I take it with me everywhere. And I keep it inside this little sock because it doesn't take up much room, yet it still protects my camera. Now these compact digital cameras, you can take great photographs and blow them up really big, so I use this a lot when I'm out and about. You wanna make sure though, when you have this camera that you always carry an extra charged battery with you because you don't wanna run out of battery juice right when you're taking that magical shot. You also wanna make sure that you have enough memory card capacity. This is where all of your images are stored. Now this is a one gigabyte card and it holds a lot of pictures, but if you're on vacation or taking a lot of photographs, you wanna make sure maybe you have an extra card to hold all your images. I keep both these things in my purse. Another thing you want to carry with you is a microfiber cloth. This allows you to clean off the LCD screen and also keep the front of your camera lens nice and clean. You can get these, you know, they're very inexpensive. You can get them in a sunglass store or a camera store. And speaking of sunglasses, here's a little tip. Whenever you're out and about and you want to take pictures, say, of water or through a window, you want to get rid of that reflection. Professional photographers use something called a polarizing filter. But if you don't have one, you can use polarizing sunglasses. You just hold them in front of your lens when you're taking the photograph and it gets rid of the glare and reflection in your picture. If you don't have polarized sunglasses, you can use any other kind of sunglasses to get some interesting effects. Another thing I keep with me in my can bag is a little notepad that tells me what I'm doing, where I've been, who I've met. I keep notes with my little pen, and at the end of the pen, I know this looks kind of dorky, but this is tape, okay? And I use this tape to attach something to my camera. And I'll show you what it is. These are facial blotting tissues and I use these to get rid of shine on people's faces when I'm taking their photograph. But they double as kind of a little flash shield. Sometimes you're taking pictures with your on-camera flash. It's really bright and harsh. It doesn't look that pretty on your subject's face. But if you just take a little tape off of your pen, you can tape this right in front of your camera's flash and it softens your pictures. You want to make people look as good as possible. Another thing I always carry with me, this is a neat little contraption. It's a brush with a mirror on it. So if kids' hair is messy or people's hair is messy, you can just brush it and they can see how they look. Another thing too, if kids have messy faces, maybe ice cream or candy all over the place and you don't want to get that in the picture, I always carry some little wipes with me. Another thing too, to make people look good, sometimes they have flyaway hairs and the wind is blowing. With this little hair product I got at the beauty supply, keep this in my purse and you can just kind of put it through the runaway strands and keeps them in place. Next, um, this is good. You know, you're out and about, you're taking pictures, but you're never in the photograph. Say you're with your family traveling. This is a great thing to bring with you. It's really light and easy to use. You can set it down on a stable surface or you can even wrap it around a tree branch if you want to. Your camera fits right on the top. You just set the self timer and then you run, go and get in the picture. Here's another thing I like to use. It's called a quick pod. Now, it extends like this. You put your camera on the end of it and you can hold it out like this to get a self-portrait or maybe a portrait of you and your significant other on vacation and that way you don't have to hand the camera to someone and you don't have that real big nose wide angle look in your picture either. And it's really easy and light and fits right in your handbag. Here's another thing, you know, if you're out and about taking pictures on the landscape, People always look better in an environmental portrait in early morning hours or late afternoon. And the reason why is because the sun is softer, it's lower in the sky and softer in your subject's face. So if I'm traveling, sometimes I'll bring this compass with me and I can figure out where the sun is and where it's going to be in the sky during the rest of the day. This particular compass also comes with a magnifying glass feature and I use this a lot in front of my camera lens if I want to magnify what I'm photographing. It's kind of like an extra macro lens for your camera. 
or you know if you're in a restaurant and you can't read the menu this comes in really handy too and last but not least is a little multifunction tool now this is kind of the mini version of what professional photographers use but I use it to cut things maybe flowers or tree branches or things I want to include in my photographs you never know when you might need one of these well I hope these tips served you well but I wanted to share with you one last tip and that is when I'm traveling or running around I often carry something to keep me warm a little scarf or pashmina whatever you want to call it but it doubles as a backdrop you can hold this behind a friend or family member if you're looking for a pretty color behind their face or if you want to simplify the background just hold this behind them or have someone else hold it behind them while you're taking the photograph and you know doubles as a little wrap okay I hope those tips served you well I'm ready to take off and um, start taking photographs. See you later.